Hi there. Today we're gonna to be having a look at the card computer from M5 Stack. So believe it or not, you can even actually run Doom on this little computer. So having a look at this device, it's quite amazing what they've managed to put inside this small package. If we switch it around to the side here, you'll see that we've got a voltage in there and some type of a switch there. On the back, we've got some more information about what this device can do. On the other side, we've got our USB-C and our speaker. And if we go to the top side, we've got our power and two more buttons as well as an SD card slot. On the front hand side, we've got a small screen. We've got our ESP32 S3 stamp as it's called. Um, and we've got our microphone over there. We've got a full QWERTY keyboard with a numeric pad on the front here. And if we now turn this on, this device actually has two batteries in, so it will run off battery. Now, once it fires up, it comes up with a demonstration software that's been preloaded on this device. So if I just click any of the buttons here, it will bring us up with this little menu. And we can start running through these menu items with these little arrow keys. So we've got a chat, we've got a remote, we've got a some sort of a command line, we've got Wi-Fi setup, timers, keyboard, uh, notepad, hello. So quite a little range. So for example, we could go and scan, and this would now start scanning for our Bluetooth, or sorry, our Wi-Fi networks that are available in the area. Uh, if you click this little button up the top here, that will take you back to your little, oh no, that's the restart. There we go. The other one takes you back to your memory. We've got a little recorder here, so we can enter in there and it will start recording. So we can just enter to play it back. There we go. Uh, or we can record playing, recording. There we go. Enter to play. I don't know if you heard that, but quite a neat little option. Uh, we can just click this button to go back to our menu again. If we scroll along here, we've got a chat. Let's see what that does. I think that's some sort of way of chatting with another device. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. We can just scroll along using these keys. We've got our infrared remote. So we can use that to actually control infrared devices. Haven't tried that as yet. Uh, if we scroll along a bit more here, We've got some sort of a command line. We've got a Wi-Fi setup. We've got a timer. So if we go in there, it will start. Um, that's just the system time. I haven't set that up as yet. If we go back here, we've got a keyboard. This is one of the reasons I actually ordered this device because I thought it'd be quite a neat little BLE keyboard to use with my TV. So if you go into that um, keyboard, it will actually allow you to start using that as a remote Bluetooth keyboard. We can set up the Wi-Fi, we've got timers, we've got a notepad. So these are all the little demonstration devices or software apps that are available. Now, what's really cool about this device is that you're not limited by this. There are a whole lot of new software um, components that we can actually download from the net, from a whole lot of people that have created. So let's have a look at that. So in order to download new applications, all we do is we go along to the M5 Stack website. I'll leave a link in the description below and select your download. So I'm on Windows, so I just downloaded this. I extract the package, opened it up, and it then opens up this little burner. All we do is we select Card Pewter, and now we have access to all of these super cool applications. So as you can see, we've got all sorts of games and all sorts of different little devices. This can be used for uh, doing hacks. So here's the Doom that I just downloaded. Um, we've got things that we can use it for um, a little hacking device, like with the, the flipper. We've got um, car dashboards. We've got all sorts of amazing little applications that are being downloaded are free to download from here. They've been created by this open source 
community that is out there. So in order to download one of these, all I do is I go download over here and I then go burn. So I go continue. Now do make sure that you're selecting the correct COM port here. Easiest way to do that is to remove the USB-C cable and then you'll see the one disappear. That's the correct one. So mine is COM port 13 and I go start. And there we go. It'll just start burning that directly to the card pewter. Once it's finished, we can then turn it on and it's all ready to go with whatever new software you've loaded up. Well, I'm really amazed by this little ESP32 device. Now all we need is for the ESP Home guys to start creating some applications that we can use with Home Assistant. Let me know what you think of this device. If you've liked it, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.